uh, we will be explaining in detail about uh, the condition of Dylan or about autism. Dylan was diagnosed with autism, autism spectrum disorder. Okay, so first let's tackle the possible causes. challenges that we faced. Uh, one of the basic challenges that we faced is um, when Dylan was younger, he was a uh, picky eater. He only wanted crunchy foods, sa chicken nuggets before, hindi niya kakainin yung meat, pero he will just eat the outer covering. Yeah. Sa, sa fried chicken, yung outer covering lang din, dahil yeah, yun yung crunchy I remember, part. For, I remember before, pagbibigay niya yung food, yung, like yung nuggets before, from brown, nagiging puro puti na. So, oh, kasi tinira niya yung meat, yeah, so tapos syempre, kinakain na. Ako kinakain ko kasi sayang naman, di ba? Isa rin is yung delayed speech. So, si Dylan, normally for 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 kids, dapat nag-start na ng basic words at two years old or even less. Pero with Dylan's case, parang above two years old na siya, hindi pa din yeah. siya nag-start magsalita. <coughs> Nga, nahirapan siya magsalita. So, we got worried. Isang primary cause for concern yung yung hindi siya nagsasalita. Parang he was just kept on mumbling or yung mm, mm, pag may gusto siya, tinuturo niya and then mm, puro ganun lang. Yeah, he would just mumble but he will not say the words. So, we, sabi pa namin before, magpapaparty kami kung magsasalita na eh ngayon, ang daldal, grabe. Parang kami na yung magpapaparty pag tumahimik siya. <laughs> so, na OA naman ngayon sa pagsasalita. Okay, so, he's very choosy with his subjects in school. Normally, hindi siya interesado kapag yung subject is not interesting for him. So, he is very good in science and math. Ang Waterloo niya na subject is Filipino history. Uh, ano ba yun, mga yun? Anything Basta yung anything Tagalog. Kasi si Dylan's first... Um, first... Ano tawag sa ganun? First language is English. First language, yeah, first language. So, nakakaintindi siya ng Tagalog, pero dahil na lang sa school, pero when we talk to him, as in English talaga. When he started talking, it was a relief for both of us na parang uh, at least marunong na siya magsalita because it's harder for us to understand them if they cannot communicate with us. Yeah. So, at least nung nagsalita, we were kind of relieved that he was finally talking. Another one is uh, yung pagka-OC niya or his... Uh, obsessive uh, compulsive niya. So, uh, bale, kunyari, may ginagawa siya, like, uh, he's doing a task tapos lunchtime na, uh, ayaw niyang magpa-disturb or ayaw niyang kumahin hanggat hindi niya natatapos yung activity na yun. For us, ang gusto lang namin is for him to take a break and uh, eat first his meal, pero kasi yun nga, may meron siyang pagka-OC. Gusto niya tapusin lahat, uh, as in talagang uh, complete, 100% complete, and then after noon, doon lang siya kakain. Another challenge that we faced with Dylan is yung, yung everyday skills na, like yun, yung si husband said before, yung putting on socks. So even up to now, medyo hirap pa rin siya. Before, uh, pero nag improve naman, I mean he's learning. Yung mga bagay na madaling matutunan for us, yun ang mas challenging sa kanila. Pero there are some things then like challenging sa atin, sa kanila naman sobrang dali. In math, si Dylan can add up to um, to the hundreds of thousands na five lines. So, he can do that. And ano siya, gifted siya sa drawing. Si Dylan is very gifted in terms of arts. So, magaling siya mag-drawing. Uh, his uh, memory is sharp. He's good in uh, directions. Like for example, we went uh, sa isang restaurant. Uh, it's in Seascape actually. Uh, medyo nawawala kami. And then, siya is, he knows the way papunta doon. So, ayun, uh, nagulat kami kasi sabi niya, we're going to Seascape. This is parang this is the way. And then, so, ayun, uh, tama naman yung sabi niya. Uh, tama naman yung directions niya. Nagulat kami kasi it's very, his uh, memory is very sharp. Uh, in terms of uh, directions, alam na alam niya. Kabisado niya yung uh, mga directions ng lugar. Tapos ano, isa pa, hindi natin siya tinuruan magbasa. Mm -hmm. Yun yung nakakagulat kasi he knew how to read. Nagulat na lang kami. Parang tinuturuan lang siya ng alphabet sa school. Tapos hindi pa siya tinuturuan magbasa but he already learned it on his own. So, 
uh, FYI, hindi siya natuto from school magbasa. Yeah. But he... Yeah, kwento mo yung ano, sa may gas station. Yeah, so when when we were... We discovered that when one time we were in the gas station. no mga, he's about two and a half, three. Mm-hmm. Mga ganun, he just started talking. And then, he told us na nagpahangin kami ng tire. And then he said, air and water yung nakalagay doon. Mm-hmm. So nagulat kami, bakit niya nabasa? That's when we found out that he could read. And then... It started out with words and phrases and then sentences kaya na niya as in nagulat kami for for yeah. a very at a very young age and nobody taught him how to do that plus yung puzzles magaling siya sa puzzles he can build puzzles na 300 pieces he can build it from scratch so ako actually 50 pieces lang medyo hirap na hirap na <laughs> tinatamad na ako magbo <laughs> pero in still and he can just look at the picture and then build the puzzle from scratch. Actually, you can also build uh, up until 500. Eh. Kasi nung nag-try kami ng 1,000, sabi namin baka kaya niya. Ayun, may hirapan. <laughs> na overwhelm. Yung 500 kinaya. So 500, na yun, yun na yung max niya. Na, ano. Pero he was uh, like uh, 6 years old then. Uh, doon eh, di ba? Right? Mga 5. Oh, 5. Uh, yeah, five. mga 5. Tsaka ako, in terms of emotional, napansin ko kay Dylan, very sensitive siya. He knows na when you're sad, he will comfort you. Um, hindi siya yung tipong walang pakialam. Ganun. He will always want na okay that you like him. Pag may nagawa siyang kasalanan, he immediately says sorry. And then, uh, lalambingin ka niya hanggang maging okay kayo. To the point na kukulitin ka talaga niya. So, for us, mas maraming positive na trait si Dylan compared sa sa mga negative. So now, we will discuss naman with you kung ano yung future concerns namin about him. So, syempre, dahil nga hirap siya sa everyday tasks, we are worried na he might not be able to take care of himself. Syempre, kapag wala na kami, yun yung main concern namin eh. So, Siyempre, uh, we don't want people to take advantage of him if ever we're not around anymore. Ang talagang inatasan kong ng task na yan is his older brother, yung kuya niya. And I told him na mumutuin ko siya pag hindi niya kaalagaan si Dylan pag wala na ako and si Alvin. So, yun. Basically, yun lang. Ayaw namin siya matake advantage in yeah, the future. Kasi, uh... Ano lang, for FYI lang, kasi si Dylan, uh, very pure kasi and honest. So, ayun nga, talagang, uh, ayun eh, uh, like ang sabi ni Mrs., ayun namin na pagdaki niya, uh, natitake advantage siya kasi nga sobrang bait ng kumata. Positive niya is he always wants to be with us, hindi katulad ng ibang kids. When when they grow up, they don't like to be with their parents anymore. Uh, so, nakikita namin that Dylan will always want to be with us, even as he grows older. Yun. And yun, lifelong condition yung condition ni Dylan. And it's not something na, na that will go away in time or magagamot ng gamot. So actually, hindi kami nagbibigay ng kahit na anong gamot sa kanya. Yung mga ibang parents, depende sa severity ng case, they sometimes give um, medicines na pampakal na. Psychotic ka yeah. drugs. So but with our case, we do not like to give anything kasi manageable naman si Dylan. He doesn't need it. We're lucky that he is in the high-functioning side of autism. Hindi siya on the low-functioning or the severe type ng autism. Actually, nasa may uh, leaning towards Asperger's ang, ang skills ni Dylan. Eh. So sa Asperger's, uh, those with Asperger's, uh, mga known people who have it is uh, actually Elon Musk. Albert Einstein and uh, Nikolai Tesla. So, the, yun, yeah, yun oh, nga, yung mga, actually, usually mga genius, eh, mga ano, eh, uh, persons, uh, celebrities are singing, mga ganun. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, uh, Susan Boyle, ng, uh, yung Got Talent, if you're watching it. So, ayun, she, has also, she is also diagnosed with uh, Asperger's syndrome. Anyway, I'll be giving the links uh, the link or siguro dito na lang sa video na rin after kung sino yung mga persons na yon para nang may idea kayo. Um, in cases like Dylan, ang advice ko rin is so palipat-lipat kami na therapy centers during that time. From... Uh, yun yung susi talaga, like sabi ni Mrs.